E aí, Sepultura fans around the world. We are here in São Paulo. We are in the third week. And um, we finished the drums. We have about 14 songs, 14 with covers uh, that we plan to to release as a bonus track, maybe as a single in US in our tour. Recording guitars right now. I think I did about seven, six, seven songs. Uh, I think the chemistry we have with Roy is working fantastic. He comes with um, a lot of knowledge, a lot of uh, you know musicians feeling. He's a musician. He's al always on stage. You know, he's not a retired musician that is, is working in the studio. You know, he he's there jamming. He's a guitar player from Halford, and I think that uh, that sensibility. You know, it's been. Uh, crucial you know for us to do the sound that we are doing right now and uh, we're not scared of you know to try it anything I think Sepultura was always like that you know in the studio you have the, this kind of freedom you know to try anything and any stupid idea could be a good one uh, I've been using basically the stuff I've been using forever since KUS AD which is my Mesa Boogie stuff um, my strategy 500 and um, the tri-axis Plus, I'm using a white Marshall head that the studio have here with some pedals like Big Muff and some weird yellow pedal that Paolo has. And it's a magical pedal that we've been using on every recording and is working in many different ways. Uh, and setups, we've been messing around song by song. You know, we're not very um, paranoid about keeping the same sounds and stuff. I mean, for every song, it works a little different. And we have uh, enough options here to try out, like Meteoro heads, the the triple rectifier heads, orange heads, and Marshall heads, other Marshall heads, and so I think this is a time to have fun. I think the guitar part, of course, I think is the most fun of recording. No people, you know, around or <laughs> just you know jamming stuff with the drums, everything uh, ready, you know. So and uh, it's it's flowing very good. So um, the whole concept of the album is really to bring the stage to the studio, at least the, the vibe of being on stage and that adrenaline, you know. Of course it's impossible to reproduce that, uh, but at the same time if you have that in mind, you know, it helps a lot. So uh, the guitars I, I have in the studio are the guitars I use live, which are the Fender Stratocasters, uh, the Jackson Randy Rhodes, the Charvel. Um, basically these are the three ones I've been using, you know, uh, for a while. Uh, I have Stratocaster with uh, original Fender pickups, I have with EMGs, uh, Floyd Rose, uh, so ba basically this is the world of my, my sound, you know, the, the Mesa Boogie stuff with the, the EMG and the Jackson and Charvel, you know, and, but my Strats uh, always bring something, you know, special, you know, although they are the same, you know, build in Mexico with the same features and stuff, every one of them have a different sound not only because of the pickups but also because of the wood and whatever you know they they have a special uh, characteristic each one of them so in the studio you never know what's gonna work you know so it's good to have everything ready you know st uh, string change and everything and and uh, you're ready to go we've been using the two basic tunings that we've been using since Roots which is D uh, the whole you know guitar uh, one step down and B flat, you know, the whole guitar also, I think it's, I don't know, 55 steps down. <laughs> uh, so we've been using strings like um, from 13s to 56, you know, to, to hold the, the low tuning and 10s for, for the D tuning. No secrets, you know, like I said, we've been, the idea is to bring the, the, the stage to, to the studio and uh, we've been playing so much, you know, late in this last two, two to three years, everywhere, like every kind of conditions, big festivals to small clubs, and the band is really tight. So, I think that the, this whole concept is is working great. Mm -hmm. 